From the first time Marcel Jacobs stepped on the track aged 9, he dreamt of the Olympics. On his bedroom wall, he had the famous picture of Carl Lewis in red stiletto heels with the caption, Power is nothing without control. Lewis was an idol he looked up to. In 1994 this photo, taken in Texas, opened up the way for an advertising campaign that was so successful that to this day the slogan continues to identify Pirelli. But thanks to Jacobs, the slogan took on a broader meaning in athletics as he was able to fully harness his explosive power to become the fastest and the most relaxed sprinter on earth. Among Marseille's secrets is Opto Jump, a system of photo cells and sensors that incessantly evaluates flight time and ground contact, providing thousands of numbers to analyze and improve running technique. This data enables the coaching staff to optimize his every movement and accurately predict his performance at the competitions. For example, his calculated result for the Tokyo Olympics was expected to be around 9.77, assuming Jacobs took 45 strides with the average frequency of 4.6 steps per second, which he did perfectly in the final. Jacobs coach Paolo Cam Asi, in an interview with the Repubblica newspaper last November, predicted a highly ambitious 9.62 seconds in the upcoming outdoor season, given ideal weather conditions. Here is the source of his optimism. The aerodynamic shield. The shield is a sort of mobile laboratory which drastically reduces air resistance, allowing Jacobs to reach higher speeds with less energy while affecting the neuromuscular overstimulation. According to Paolo Cam Asi, in these conditions, Jacobs can easily run the 100 meters in 9.4, the time Usain Bolt could only dream of. Do you think you can ever get to 9.4? I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm definitely hoping. Uh, we're definitely going to work on it, give it my best. Interestingly, Bolt used 92% of his energy to overcome air resistance, with just 8% left for forward motion, according to a paper appearing in the European Journal of Physics. However, by exploiting the absence of air resistance, Jacobs can do significantly more speed work at higher speeds than Bolt, with less fatigue and a much quicker recovery time. This gives him an overwhelming advantage in the training process. So if Jacobs can take one less step than usual to cover the 100 meters in 44 strides, while maintaining the same frequency of 4.6 steps per second, he could break the world record. That seems entirely possible.